Hey, what's up? In this tutorial, I'm going to give you an introduction to card views. So card views are good for displaying information if you have any images or any kind of a media attached to that information. And like you can put a card view in a list view or a recycler view, and that would probably be the most common use. A good example of something that I, I don't know for sure, but I'm guessing that uses a card view is YouTube. They just have, you know, like your your basic card layout, and then in the center you have your video, and then on the bottom you have description and maybe the channel that published the video. And uh, in this demo here, I just made a simple card view. I have an image attached to it, and I just have a little bit of text down here um, that's describing the image. So in other words, like a title. So in this video, I'm just going to show you how to get started with card views. I'm not going to show you how to put it in a list view or anything. I will leave that for future tutorials. So to get started, let's uh, let's create a new project. I'm just going to call mine card view example and go next and next and finish. By the way, before I get started, I just want to mention a good resource for card views. Uh, check out the Xamarin. I'm not sure how you actually pronounce that. I think it's Xamarin. I'm not sure. Anyway, go to their site. They type in, you know, just type in uh, Xamarin card view. Go here and uh, they they talk about card views here and they, they give a lot of really good information. And there's even a nice little diagram here, which I like. So if you're designing the card view layout, this helps a lot. You know what kind of does what. Tells you how to use the elevation. All this stuff. So anyway, check out that blog post if you're interested. But uh, other than that, we can get started here. We need to first put the uh, card view dependencies into the manifest. So I will just paste that in and press sync. All this is going to be up on GitHub, by the way. If you don't want to type this out yourself, just go to GitHub and you can grab the dependencies. Once Gradle has synced, we can close that and let's go into activity main and we'll design our layout. So we'll get rid of the text view. We'll actually leave the padding because I want a little bit of padding for uh, for the card view. And now that we have the card view dependencies in here, we can actually start, start typing card view and it, see it pops up there. Our width is going to be let's do match parent and our height, let's do 200 dp. So there, there's our card. Um, now we're going to put a linear layout inside the card and then in that linear layout we'll hold the image view and we'll hold the title. Image view and we'll just do match parent, match parent. Oh, whoops, actually, sorry, let's make the linear layout first. So linear layout, we'll go match parent, match parent, and we'll do a vertical orientation. And then inside the linear layout, we'll throw in the image view. And then below the image view, we're going to do a text view, which is going to hold the title. So uh, the width of the text view, I guess we can do match parent. And the height, I'll just do wrap content and we can put some text in here just so we can get a feel for what it's going to look like so I'll just put card title here and we need to set the height for the image view so our card view is going to be 200 dp so we'll make the image view uh, 170 dp and uh, then we can see okay now, now that we know what that's going to look like and we'll center the text view vertically Okay, we'll give an ID to this, we'll just call it card title and give an ID to the image view, we'll just call it, uh, we'll call it card I I image. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now let's set a few properties for the card view. So if we check out the Xamarin blog post, we can set the card corner radius and set the elevation. The elevation will give it like a shadow. So let's do that. We'll set the corner radius, so go corner card corner radius just do like 5 dp round the edges a little bit and we'll set the card elevation to I don't know 15 dp we're going to see a shadow coming in there and we'll add a little bit of padding in here for the uh, for the image view just do like 10 dp and we'll do padding on the right let's do 10 dp and padding top 10 dp and I guess Adding bottom 10 dp. So that should be good. Now uh, we need to add an image to our drawables folder. So let's go into res and I've already got an image so I'm just going to drag and drop it into the drawables folder. So I copied this image right here and I'm just going to click on the drawables folder and paste it in. So there we have my smoky mountain pick. That looks pretty sweet. 
Okay, and I'm not going to set the image in here because if we were going to use a list view or something, realistically that's not how you would do it because you'd have a new image coming through for each card. So you, you're going to want to set the image in main activity, not in activity main. But like, like you could just do source, um, drawable, smoky mountain, and you could set the image. But realistically, in a realistic situation, you're going to be using the card view in, in, a, in a list view or something. Something I did notice though, because I've set that image, is I did the padding incorrectly. So you can see here there's no padding on the left and the right hand side. So we need to actually use content padding left and do 10dp and use content padding right 10dp. So yeah, maybe, maybe you want to actually set the image when you're doing the layout. That way you can actually see what it's going to look like. So that looks much better. Now we have the proper padding and I will get rid of this image and we'll go into main activity and start writing the code. So we're just going to create our tag, our image view and our text view up top. So log T for the tag and then create our image view and our text view. I'll just call them M card image and M card title. And then we declare those two objects in on create. Now we just need to uh, create an image resource and then set the image resource to the image view and set the title to the, t the text view. So we'll go integer image resource, get resources, get identifier, and then the path name, so, or the, the path, so drawable slash smoky mountain, and you don't need to, you don't need to write JPEG, then we go null and this dot get package name. And then we just set the resource to the image view, so set image resource, image resource, and now we just set the title to the text view. So card title, set text, and we'll just call it um, mountain pick. And that should be it. All right, let's run it and take a look. All right, so there we have our smoky mountain image into a card view, and it looks pretty good. So that's it for this video. I just wanted to go over a brief introduction on how to use a card view and how to set images and text to the card view. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like below. Follow me on Twitter for notifications when new tutorials are posted. Subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching.